Hey guys, I'm here with another Magical Monster tier deck profile. Um, let's get right into the deck. So for starters, you must play three Magical Musketeer Casper. It is the main searcher in the deck. Whenever a card is activated in its column or your opponent's column, you just search for a Magical Musket card. I play three Magical Musket Starfire. It's um, whenever a card is summoned to his own points to, you special summon a Magical Musketeer monster from your deck in defense position. That's really all. Uh, three Magical Musketeer Kid Brave. He'll help Sunbrick's hands whenever a card is activated in its column or your opponents. You can just discard a Magical Musket card to draw two cards. I play two Doc. Um, it's just as good as Cas. It does like the exact same thing as Casper does, but it does it from graveyard. So late game, Doc is just as good as Casper is, maybe even better. I play one wild and one calamity. So wild can help recycle in late game, which is really good because this deck here is like a resource deck. You're kind of trying to out resource your opponent. Calamity is just a monster born for the deck. And then I also play. Two Ash Blossom, just because hand traps are always good to have. Because if you go, you don't always win the die roll, so you can't always go first. So on the spells, play three Cross Dom. This card has won me so many games. It's not real. It makes your opponent's monsters and attack and defense zero, and its effect is negated. And they all the Magical Musketeer cards, so you can just activate these cards from your hand. So you're playing a whole entire deck just filled with hand traps. So you can just activate that from your hand on your opponent's turn. I play three of the best card in the deck, which is Super Poly. I can just, well, you guys should probably just know what Super Poly does, but I play a whole bunch of just Super Poly targets in main board. I play three Cobble the Grave because if I get ashed, it really does suck. Because if I go second, I'm going to be going for the Utopia double play, which I'll show you guys here later. And... It's mainly the reason for Call by the Groove. So, play three ties. It's just, if I go first, it's really good. If you go second, you more than likely decide it out. But it's really good to just make a full board, and it's harder for your opponent to just get out of it. Play two Desires. It's another card to really just help unbreaking it. With Kid Brave, it's a plus three, which makes it really good. I play the one double or nothing for the Utopia play and one upstart gathering because that's a free plus one. So now on to the traps. I play two Solemn Judgment. It's just a card that's just really good. It's back at three. I don't think this deck really needs three because of all the other negates it has. Um, I play one dancing needle it's just a triple dd crow it just gets rid of three of any cards from your opponent's graveyard and it's a card you can just activate from your hand so your opponent won't necessarily always know you have it in your hand so you can just catch them off guard with it i play three desperado this is one of the better spell trap cards i can activate from my hand it just destroys any destroys one face-up card in the field and then i play three last stand uh, it, it just says it can just negate a spell slash check card, and um, it it does it destroys it. So it's also helped out a lot in a lot of matchups. So now moving on to the extra deck, we have three max. So this card here helps us go for the Utopia play because if it if your opponent has a single spell slash check card in a monster, you just uh, choose the mode to summon from deck. And if you do, you'll summon out Starfire, and you'll more than likely have a spell or trap card you can activate from your hand to target their monster or something. And then you could just summon out another level 4 to go into the Utopia play. And then its other effect is that you can add uh, Magical Musket Spell Slash tra Trap cards from your deck to your hand equal to the number of monsters your opponent controls. So this is a really like situational card on which one you use. So, I play one Cerberus. One Phoenix and one Unicorn. I'm also playing the one Borlu. And now I'll show you guys my Super Poly targets. I'm playing Starving Venom. Predator Plant, Dragon Stapelio. 
uh, Salome Great Violet Camaro, Mud Dragon, and this one here isn't really a super polite target, but it's just a good matchup for the Cyber Dragon. Just that Kamire tick. I'm going to Mike C's. I play the Utopia Double with Utopia. And then I also play one of the store. Thank you guys, and that's the deck.